I'll tell you what, people, this old C19 virus, it's got a lot to answer for. I'm, I'm self-isolating in an acre of lawn. Well, that's not good. I'd sooner self-isolate in an acre of water, but that can't happen. So I'm pushing on with uh, the workload that the wife is piling on one after the other. It's got to be done. Uh, but it's a beautiful day. It's not going to last. We're going to have sleet and snow coming, they say. Sleet and snow in the spring. Can it get any worse? So what I'm saying to you guys, enjoy each day as it comes. Set yourself a target of what you want to achieve during the day. Get some jobs done. Do your exercise. Make a sort of feature of maybe cooking or something like that. I'm making a feature of this glass thing over here. Oh yeah boys, a whole different world in here. So here I am, having worn myself out with a lawnmower. I've got a couple of chairs in there, because I don't really use it. I used to have it racked out for planting when I used to do seeds, plants, bring them on for the garden, but now the garden's pretty well established. And we found out it's better to have shrubs and stuff that you don't have to weed too much. In the back here, I have got some plants on the go. But the wife normally uses this for drying the washing. You know, when you can't dry it, all the house inside gets damp, doesn't it? If you've got the, uh, unless you've got a tumble dryer, but they're expensive to run. So I don't like the idea of that. So I put a drying racks out there. In here, I kid you not, it's close to 80 degrees. I can feel I'm starting to leak a bit already. No, no, it's not the C19 sweats. It's the greenhouse sweats. And I'm going to leave the door open. Got a couple of little deck chairs in there. So why don't you? I actually got a, a table somewhere I can use as well. If you've got a greenhouse you're not using and you just want to feel better, get that feel good factor. And I love the sunshine. I do not like the cold. I like sunshine. I like seeing it. It makes everybody feel a bit better. Of course, it's not going to last. We realise that. I think we've got two days of this. The air outside is quite cold. In here, it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, when the sun goes around there, this will stay warm so you can come out for tea and cakes. So if you've got a greenhouse and you're not really using it, how about trying to make a little, if you like, conservatory of it, something like that. It's just a little target. It gives you something, it gives you, it makes you feel a bit better. We're going to put a table in there. I suppose later on, this is probably warm enough to get some red wine out. It's got to be room temperature, hasn't it? It's got to be greenhouse temperature. More important, people, is I'm going to be cooking something on right a chimney I'm going to give it a go I'm going to move it behind a hedge because it's very windy today we're going to cook up lunch with a chimney this is all to keep myself from going completely stir crazy because we were like 24 36 hours in and I'm already going around to cuckoo land I know a lot of you people out there you know are the same you just don't like being tied down but it's the way it is so you've got to make something of each day set yourself a little target each day it could be staying in the shed it could be doing something it could be painting a bedroom anything like that cleaning you just just clean it out all of a sudden you got rid of half a day but which don't you think it's lunch time let's get this chimney is it going to explode is it going to crack is it going to work i've got to be honest people i don't know myself
75 degrees, boys. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Now this is fun because it has been dire. You all know what it's been like. The news has been absolutely dire. Well, this has cheered me up no end because I've had a bit of fun. I've cooked on the chimney, which I haven't done for about two years. And I feel as though life's good. Am I going to stay, <laughs> stay in the greenhouse for the next six months? I don't know. I'm enjoying this sausage mushroom. Mushroom? Sausage, mushroom and egg bap. Mm. I could be on a beach in Tenerife for this temperature. Some grub and a fishing rod would be nice. Mm. Lovely. I'm going to eat this and I've found an absolute pack, a flock of weird looking flies. I think they're hover flies on a bank in tiny little burrows and holes in the, this bank. So I'll show them to you when I finish this. Don't go away. What I also use the greenhouse for is drawing out any dampish woods for the log burner, which hopefully we won't be using much longer. Um, so I've got four bags there, so that's what I keep the greenhouse for as well, drying it out. Then it goes from here into my log store. Well guys, I don't know what those flies were, they're like a sort of a, a hover fly. They look like there's two different species there. See if you can tell us what they are. Is anybody out there? into entomology and can let us know exactly what they are. I'm calling them hoverflies. Are they breeding there, mating there? They may, I've seen them go to little burrows, but I don't know whether they live in the burrows or whether they're attacking something that lives in the burrow, if that makes sense. Ah, oh, this is not bad. The sun's out. I'm in the greenhouse. It's nice and warm. I hate the cold. I know we've got cold weather coming, but we've got maybe two days of this. I've got a great view of the garden, finishing the mowing. Wife wants to do a bit. Should I stop her? Oh, there's, right guys, this is this would be interesting if I can get it. Because I'm in the greenhouse, Colin's come over. He's one of our predator friends. Colin is a huge monster kite. Now, I've seen loads of kites before. Colin is really big. We've had him for years. There's three of them over there. Mr. Colin, Mrs. Colin, and I guess baby Colin. We see a new baby Colin or two each year. But he's, he's, he's way out high. I've got some bacon left over. I'm going to put some bacon fat over there on our bird feeding table and I might get lucky. I've been trying to get him going down in a swoop for, I can't tell you, all year, last year and the start of this year. And I always miss him because what happens is we have some resident carrion crows, I guess they are big black chicken things, and they're really bossy and they see him off because that's their little feeding table. I don't want the magpies, they kill all the young ones, all the small birds of other species. But really, Colin is so impressive. I might get lucky. I think, you know, I think I could almost film from over there. I don't know. I think he's come over because he doesn't... Well, let's face it. He wouldn't expect a human being to be growing in a greenhouse, would he? I'm safe.
I'm really pleased we're getting Colin the kite. That's the best shots I think I've probably got, especially when he's up on the top of what we call our predator tree, the old oak tree, and he's up there with his claws tearing up the bacon. In fact, the way things are going, it won't be long before I'm tearing up the bacon again. We'll see you guys next time. Hopefully that's been a bit of interest, passed a bit of time for you. Well, it is tough times, isn't it? I'll probably, I think there might be more films coming like this, guys, because I get so bored so quickly. We'll see you next time.